How do you recommend teachers find a balance between pacing guides and standards and the more open-ended and joyful mathematics that UQ promotes? Mm. Well, I can tell you that um, I'm one of the five uh, writers of a new maths framework for California. And we've really grappled with this problem. We know there's too much in the standards. And if you want to teach all of the methods in the standards, then everything is going to be really shallow if you go through them one by one by one, which is what textbooks have done. They've taken all of those methods from the standards and they've made them into short questions and chapters. So uh, what we've recommended with the framework is that we focus instead on big ideas. What are those big connecting ideas that are really important? There aren't that many of them in any grade level. There are maybe 10 of them. And with those big ideas, think to yourself or find a really rich, deep activities that kids can do that they spend some days on that um, they can really think deeply about. And those big idea activities should anchor the year, I think. Uh, what we find is when, when kids work on those big ideas and those rich activities, a lot of the smaller things come into them. If they don't, they're probably not that important actually. But um, so that's our way of getting that depth and really good maths experience. Even when you, it seems like, I hate pacing guides, I'm not a fan. Um, <laughs> when it seems like there's all this stuff you have to cover. I should tell you also that we're doing new work for the state of California on top of this framework project. Um, the state legislator, uh, they passed a new law recently saying basically we know there's too much in the curriculum, particularly during COVID. And so they have asked that uh, teams of people work out what are the essential standards and what could we maybe let go. And so they've asked us to decide which are the more essential maths standards. And we're working on that at the moment. So I'm excited for that to release. I think teachers need that. They need less um, that they can really focus on in depth and not have this shallow rushed experience. Absolutely, especially now, like you said, with what we're dealing mm -hmm. with in our virtual settings. 